This is the Onion News Network, now with more attack satellites than any other network. Right now, let's turn to the dire situation in Hollywood, where a devastating freak accident at Sony Pictures Studio has resulted in 34 Katherine Heigl movies being released at once. Onion News Network reporter Brian Scott has more. Brian. Thanks, Brooke. A frantic scene in Hollywood today as studio officials scramble to contain a massive stream of Katherine Heigl films pouring into theaters. At present, 19 romantic comedies, 14 screwball romps, and one attempt at art house indie credibility featuring the 32-year-old actress have hit unsuspecting theaters across the country. Sony Pictures reps claim that the disaster was caused by a night shift janitor who forgot to secure the Heigl vault after cleaning it. They released a statement earlier today saying, quote, we understand that exposure to this amount of Katherine Heigl is dangerous for anybody, even someone who doesn't hate her. We promise to do everything we can do to get the level of Heigl films back down to a much more manageable three or four per year. Industry experts are warning that one Katherine Heigl film in particular, Venus and Mars, co-starring Bradley Cooper, may be especially hazardous. Triage centers have been set up in parking lots of movie theaters nationwide, like the one behind me. Right, we're doing the best that we can out here. But the movies are just coming out too fast. Fool Me Once with her and Justin Long across the pond where she falls in love with Hugh Grant. This nervous Nelly movie where she wears glasses. They're all wreaking total havoc. Emergency rooms have already reported a 700% increase in self-blindings, and mental health wards are seeing huge numbers of new patients suffering from severe post heigl stress disorder. But movie critics who've had to view every one of these films have been among the hardest hit. Roger Ebert even posted an erratic plea for help this afternoon on his blog at the Chicago Sun-Times. To help these victims and others recover from the nearly 68 hours of Katherine Heigl's face and voice, FEMA has begun distributing emergency DVDs of the existential Coen Brothers film, No Country for Old Men. FEMA is also implementing an emergency plan that developed back in 1993 after Columbia Records simultaneously released 14 Toad the Wet Sprocket albums. Brooke, back to you. Thanks, Brian. Ms. Heigl made a statement to reporters this afternoon saying, this is absolutely tragic. Believe me, no one recognizes how terrible and grating I am more than me. I have to live with it all day, every day. I've got to say, Katherine Heigl was nothing but nice to me at the Woman Awards.